So our vision for the Compostela program in Spain is that it will be a very new type of education uh, for architects. We really see Compostela as education for the 21st century. The program was started in 2010 with my colleague Carlos Sewan and Carlos and I had worked for many years at the office of Aldo Siza uh, in Portugal. So the first year of the program was 2010 and we have been running it ever since, uh, each time in July for three weeks. The program is organized around three main points. The first point is the importance of interdisciplinary education and we believe that architects need to understand very deeply the cultural history, anthropology, landscape, and even literature and film of the place where they work. So we prepare lectures that are interdisciplinary in nature uh, for our students. The second point is the idea that the city is the classroom. We learn very directly from the city itself. We have sketching classes in the different public spaces of Santiago de Compostela. And we also work on design projects that are real projects, real problems that are presented to us by the city mayor and city architect. And the third uh, idea, which is very important for Compostela, is the fact that we work with our hands. We like to teach our students sketch to prepare physical models and there's a phenomenological quality uh, to the teaching uh, not only in the way that we prepare our work and use our hands but also in the way that we learn in a very physical very direct way uh, by walking through and experiencing the city. And so students have found uh, that it's an extremely valuable experience to travel. Uh, architects must travel always and they meet a variety of students here from around the world. And also the professors come from Spain, Portugal, New York and other parts of the United States. We've also had visiting professors from Switzerland uh, and from China here at Compostela. Well, this year we introduced something new in the program. Um, it's already an eight year program. It's used working by team. Before it was very individual, each student has its own project. Mm -hmm. um, we thought because it's a short program, the results in a way were not weak, it was always in the process, not being finished. Then this year we introduced to work five students on a team. And then it was difficult because we have students from Russia, students from Eastern Europe, students from the States, students from China, very different cultures and also very different backgrounds in terms of education. I think it was a good combination, a good result again, because in a way the students from Russia were very skilled with working by hand and also with photograph. Mm -hmm. And the students, for example, from the States were very skilled with making models by hand. And the students from China were very rigorous. And yeah. <laughs> At the end, the result <clears throat> was a good combination. It was a good combination. Yeah. And the vice major that came here was also very happy with the results and because the project, in a way, addressed the issues in a very sustainable way, in a very economical way, and in a very realistic way. And then the whole thing, <clears throat> I think for me, was very successful because the students learned how to work by hand, but also started to learn how to work by teams, making proposals first by ideas, and then the forms came at the end. It was in a way very rational process, but it was a very good <coughs> learning, with a good experience for them. And then for us, I think it was very successful. I think we will continue this kind of working by teams, and each team with people from different backgrounds. Asia, Eastern Europe, mm -hmm. Europe, Europe, America, master degrees and undergraduates. In a combination of different people that then make something strong. Um, all together work well. Mm -hmm. And I think it was I was very happy. Thank you. Thank you.